Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla Server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We're over here in the Nether Hub next to the Iron Farm Portal. Can you see that? Yeah, you can just barely see that. How about like that? Ooh, getting up close and personal. There we go. Iron Farm slash spawn. Yes, we're here at the Iron Farm Nether Hub or Nether Portal off the Nether Hub because we're going to be working on this tunnel, kind of a tunnel. We're going to work on it today. It needs a little bit of help, and that's what we're going to take care of. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at yet another nether tunnel that needs help. A couple, couple episodes ago, a few episodes ago, I'm not quite sure when I've got them all stacked out, but yeah, we worked on the witch farm nether tunnel and that, that uh, was pretty good. And now it's time to turn our attention here. This is another project. It's been one of the main projects I've been working on on this map. And so it's finally time to look at this awful, awful nether tunnel i'm in the faithful 32 pack because we are not going through into spawn today if we were going into spawn whenever we go over there for some reason it just changes over to the beat up low texture pack so so uh we'll, we'll just see how that goes so um right now what we need to do is explain kind of what we're what we uh what we've got planned so over here right here is a this is a spot if we had the waypoint beacons on we would have something right here called nether elevator and this is the spot in which i want to put a minecart clicky elevator and fast drop shoot we're going to dig that down 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 the uh, mitigating circumstance or the other problem that we've got to deal with other than loud portal noises is that we've got a lava ocean down there and why do we need that it's because we've got another nether portal way down there you can see right here future site poppy disposal access we're not going to do that here i don't like that area right there i want it to be right behind the portal so we're going to close off this section once we get the tunnel design so uh, i think first things first i need to actually build that tunnel or that uh, elevator and so i'm going to take care of that and if it looks interesting enough i'll do a little bit of a time lapse if not well i'll just bring you back when we've got some progress to show all right see you in a bit well ladies and gentlemen here we are down at the very bottom of the nether this is where the poppies come out from the iron farm they usually fall into the lava right there and we've got the beginnings of an item elevator not an item elevator a player elevator right here okay so uh, i have got my camera account on and he is going to be helping us in this endeavor over here in another screen i've got the volume turned down over there but hopefully this works out so on this side this is where the uh, player can come into that's where the mine carts are going to go and so for that end we need to actually put a ladder and we should be able to see a mine cart drop down here soon is that going to work no it did not work and if you're wondering what are you talking about well, it's because I can see what's going on on my screen over here. Okay, that didn't work out so well. Okay, there we go. Let's try now with something a little bit different. And we should see it falling down right soon. There we go. And it should stop on the ladder. Excellent. Now, on the other side, we need kind of a safe fall and... We don't have waterfalls in the nether. We have to use vines. And so then what I want to do is stop the vine or stop the, yeah, stop the vine from growing with uh, that piece of string. And then we can get rid of that nether rack right there. And just for grins and giggles, what we are going to do is put not nether rack. We're going to put a slime block right there. Okay. Now, next order of business, we need to go up into the mine cart. And then we'll measure up one, two, and then three. And then this should, should work. All right, like so. It did not fall down. Okay. 
We'll try this again. Okay. And that should be falling down forthwith. And there we go. And it's going to be rinse, repeat. So what measure up one, two, and then three. And then over on my camera account, we will just be dropping the minecarts one by one. And it looks like they're just going to cause all sorts of problems. And I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm not going to bring you along for all of it. I'm just going to get this done and, and we'll go from there. Oh, oh, interesting parts coming up though. Let's see. Let's do this. Maybe do a couple more because uh, we're getting ready to go into the lava layer. And we'll get a couple more ready to go. And hopefully we don't have any issues. Isn't this just fun right here? Hopefully you're not afraid of lava in Minecraft. There we go. One more drop down. Is that going to do it? No, it's not going to behave. Okay, there we go. Got another minecart on the way. You can see it coming through. Excellent. And one more. What? One, two, three. And this should get us above the surface of the lava right here. And then I'll have to go make more. But I at least want to bring you along for this. Just because uh, it's kind of fun to watch. At least... Oh no, that didn't bring me to... Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, you can kind of see what we're going for here. It's rinse and repeat all the way up. One, two, ladder. And then we'll drop a minecart in there. And then I've got to go up to, what, level 110 or so. So... I'll bring you back once I get that done. I'll say hello to the cameraman. Hello, MC Soap the Great. There we go. Anyway, cameraman is done for the evening. And now it's time for a test. And the biggest test, I guess, is going to be dropping down through here. Are you ready? Let's do this. My goodness. Okay. Okay. So that wasn't so bad. And then we go up through the elevator here. We go into the lava layer and then we go above it. And then you can just look around. Yes, I used white glass for the elevator. And uh, that was kind of nerve wracking while I was going through there. Thankfully, no ghasts showed up while I was doing that. But I did not bring you along for it because I just wanted to get it done. So there we go. And then you can see a little bit of how the nether is laid out. It's, well, kind of nondescript. We got weird pathways going all over the place. And then we eventually come up here to the top layer, and there we can get out. Now, the next order of business remains to be listen to the nether portal sound. Good. And I'll have to take care of that in post processing. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at those blocks. It should, anyway, whatever. Over here, we need some sort of a design. I don't know what to do on the walls quite yet, but yeah, I'm going to go off camera, figure something out, probably incorporating a little bit of the iron block texture that Lapis put together on the stairway down into the nether farm storage area, and also a little bit of the castle kind of mix the two. We'll see, and, and I'll bring you back once I've got something to show. Are you ready for the progress update? Uh, I, I went ahead and did it. I didn't... I don't know. I just got on here and started building. I got my materials together and I just let the, the creative juices flow. So let's take a look. You ready? Okay, there we go. What do you think? So we don't have any of the iron block texture in here. I, I didn't do it. I just decided let's go for making this look like the castle. And I think we do a good job here. Little bit of a difference here. Let me know if you can tell it. Do you know what the difference is? Can you tell? Can you tell? Okay, so from the castle, or in the castle, behind these dark oak fences over in the castle area, we've got regular prismarine, I think. I think. I would go over there right now, but then we have to change the... the anyway, it gets all crazy with changing up the... the uh, 
oh resource pack and yeah we're going to take a look at that in just a moment but but yeah so i think we've got regular prismarine behind those dark oak fences over there i went with dark prismarine here because that's what i had and i didn't want to go get any more regular prismarine so yeah i've gotten to that point i don't want to go gather more materials if i don't have to so down here in the floor instead of all sea lanterns we've got a mix of the prismarine bricks plus sea lanterns but still using that same same feel as we've got on the floor in the castle and the roof pretty similar not the exact same but pretty similar we're going i didn't change the size of the nether portal at all so it's the same three by five and then if we come through here uh in the back we've just gone with oh that portal noise gross anyway the stone brick slab and i didn't do any special floor back here because we've got uh, we've got some space constraints here, but the wall detail is pretty much the same in there on the ceiling. Same as we've got over there. Let's go down to the bottom floor and hopefully nobody has messed up. Okay, and there we go. And down here, got everything covered in slabs, so we're not going to have any spawns down here. And then I just went pretty similar, bare bones on the walls, just stone brick. And then here on the roof, kind of bringing in some of the design ethic or aesthetic from upstairs but but yeah anyway so what i want to do now is let's let's go into the resource pack let's change out faithful 32 for the b001.12 texture pack it's going to take a little bit of time for us to make this switch okay that didn't that wasn't so bad i'm i'm used to modded i've been switching the texture packs in there and it's yeah anyway uh, we're getting a little bit of framiness, but not too bad. Okay, so the roof doesn't change much. A little bit lower res textures, so that's fine. Over here, oh man. Yeah, the, there is some framiness going on. And then with the B00 texture pack, we've got the different values for the randomized values there on the stone brick. We've got that in the roof as well. So I didn't use slabs for the roof. I used the regular, regular blocks. So there we go. And then coming in here, that's part of the B00 texture pack is a resource pack is this dark, dark iron texture. So let's go on up through here and I don't want to leave torches along the way. That looks ugly with the glass, I'll tell you that. So that's one downside of this texture pack is the glass. Um, depending on, you know, it, what you need it for, okay? So for our case on that elevator, uh, it's it's not good because it it gets rid of the viewing of the the nether but but overall here we go here's the nether hub with the black nether brick texture and then over here this looks a little bit more like the castle so there you have it i guess the andesite it's a, it's i don't know it's not the best right there but but overall that's what it looks like in the b00 texture pack so I've got that done. This part of the project is done. We've cleaned up the nether. We've got another tunnel to spawn. We've got spawn cleaned up, We're waiting on other hyper miners to come in and build stuff. But I've got one more job here in the nether tunnel or nether hub to work on. Let's go over to it. Well, along the theme of cleaning up the nether a little bit, we've got another thing to work on here. This is the witch farm tunnel, the witch farm perimeter nether tunnel. And then right here is a side tunnel that Lapis Lori uses to get over to the witch farm. And 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 it, it needs a little bit of work, okay? So we're, we've got bare nether rack there. And then you come over here and, well, there's another rack in the ceiling. Can't quite do anything about that. But the walls are completely covered. So she's got some, what's, what's it called now? Terracotta? No, it's called hardened clay. Yeah, okay. I thought it was called terracotta. I guess when you stain it, it's called terracotta. Anyway, I don't know. But we've got a design here, and and she hasn't carried it over to here. So I think I'm going to take care of that. And that means I'm going to have to gather up some resources, get some of this, this regular hardened clay, and then I'll actually have to harvest up some birch. Yep. Well, I, I haven't really done that on this map, but we'll do that. So let me go grab some materials, and then I'm going to get to working on this thing. See you in just a little bit. Well, here we are back at Lapis's tunnel and those noises. I should have taken care of those already, but there we go. Okay. 
And we've got a mule over there. Okay. Does he have a name? I probably don't want to look at it. Uh, just knowing knowing what Lapis names some of her stuff sometimes. Okay, anyway, what we're going to do over here is just figure out what the pattern is. There's nothing on the roof other than flat nether rack. Okay, that's fine. And then along the floor, we've got birch and nether brick. And those are slabs. And then we've got... So that's already taken care of. And then along the sides there, we've got nether brick uh, stairs. So... So we go like this, and I'm not I'm not a big fan of having the uh, the glowstone right there in the floor. It makes you jump up and down. But then again, I am the one that put that that uh, floor over in spawn, over in the iron farm, where you're going up and down and up and down. Anyway, so so there we go. We've got nether brick fence are not fences but stairs right there and i think what we need to do is take this out okay we'll go up like that and there we'll do that as well and we'll wrap this around like that does that seem right or good i don't know this is all going to be the same height so that part of the ceiling is going to have to come out as well so really what I want to do is work this out with you a little bit. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera with you. I just want to kind of get the feel of the pattern here. And then we can work on, I can go off camera and take care of most of it. So then we come around here and then, hmm. So really you've got to go in one, right? So let's do this. Let's just kind of play around a little bit here and see if we can get get better about this. Uh, go like that. And what else does she have? She's got what, one, two, three in a row. And then, so that's one, one, two, three, four. This chest in the way, too much to move right now. We will move that later. Not quite yet. Grab some of this terracotta. Back in my day, this was called clay and then we'll take this out right here uh, another rack up there okay and then what do we do this side should be clay and we'll knock that out as well okay uh, i mean terracotta terracotta that's what we're calling it nowadays okay and then there on the back So that in like so. How about on the ceiling? Oh, we've got... Um, we can probably put that right there. Okay, and then... I don't have tons of this, so we're not going to be wasting the terracotta. Because I don't want to have to go mine this up anymore. And then what? one more right here. Okay, and then a torch. And I think, I think that's it. Yeah, so, so let's see if we can get this just without having to go back and forth. Okay, we'll tear out all of this netherrack right here. And then birch stairs right there like that. And then we'll do terracotta right here. Okay, and then, is it just two? Yeah, it's just two. Okay, that's cool. No, uh, you don't get our argument from me. Okay. Still, uh, we're going to be saving as much of this terracotta as we can because it is a precious resource. And then in here, torch. Okay. So I think, I think I can carry that out the rest of the way. You kind of see how that's going to go. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Not too much. Okay. So the design has already been taken care of for us. Lapis took care of that. But I just need to copy and paste all the way down on both sides. And we'll get this thing moved. Does she have storage over here? Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of storage space. Yeah, there's plenty of storage right there. So we'll move this stuff over to here. I believe it's hers. It's from Nimson. The chest is, but there's no sandstone in it anymore. So 
So yeah. Anyway, let me take care of that and I will bring you back and show off the progress. Well, here we go. This is the walkway now from the witch farm tunnel over to Hypervitus. Got the same look and feel as what we were already doing over there. And he keeps moving. Okay, he was over here. No, I thought we had missed one of these things. Huh, no, okay. So there are still spawnable spaces, but that's fine. I guess that's just the name of the game. The pigmen can still spawn no matter the light level on solid blocks. And so since this is a solid block, we get spawns. But I thought I had missed a light somewhere in here. But no, apparently we got it, which is pretty cool. So that is the full full hallway all the way down. And, um, and yeah, that means that we are done with that particular project. They're all over the place. Huh. Okay. Well, let's just get our stuff here and we'll get our sign and we can say adieu to this project. So uh, we can also say adieu to the nether hub revamp here. We took care of the iron farm nether portal or nether tunnel. We took care of this one going over to the witch farm from Lapis's place here. And I think that means we are pretty good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on in the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.